Hi, I created uh, Matrix Doors in Cinema 4D and I put the tutorial on uh, YouTube, except I didn't exactly explain what I was doing and I just speeded up the process so you could see everything. Uh, today I'm going to take you through step by step how to create this particular scene. Uh, from here, you can use the clone tool to create many more doors after that to make a, a corridor. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to have a new scene and I'm going to create a cube. It's going to be uh, 400 for X, uh, 900 for Y and 30 for Z. So that's pretty much our door right there. Uh, I'm going to hold down control and drag the cube down which will make a, a duplicate of it. Uh, in this duplicate we're going to create the framework around the door. Now there's probably a, a few different ways you're going to do this but uh, I'm just going to do it the reasonably simple way. Um, we want a frame around about 30 actually we'll make it 25. We still want the 900 height uh, and the the 30 deep. Um, 400 divided by 2 uh, plus 12.2 and that should give us, uh, let's look down, that should give us right so those edges touch. So it's 12.5. Uh, going back to here, so we have our first frame on the right hand side. So I'm just going to label these door right frame. Now to make the left frame, we just clone that right frame and we put a minus in front of the 212.5 and I'll copy it to the other side. So this is now left frame. Okay, now we need to make a top frame. So we're going to clone that again and we're going to set this back to zero so it's in the center. This will be Y which is 25 because that's the actual width. The with the cross will now be 400 plus the the 25 so we're talking about 450 and 30. Um, now calculation wise the door is 900 so it would be 450 uh, plus 25 no 450 plus and then you you take half the width of the actual border off again so it's 1250 so there we go uh, 462.5 and I'll just zoom in to make sure and if I lift that up you can see that gap has changed so when I put it back it's right on it all right so if I go to my perspective view I press O and it puts everything in frame um, so now I have a door with frames. So if I get to the door and just make it um, 20 back, you can see that there's for the time being. Okay, so there's our, our basic door that we've got and, uh, and frame. And if I do put a light in here and I render that, it doesn't look too much different but when you turn global illumination and ambient on uh, you can really see the difference where the actual doors connect. Okay so there's our, our framework to start with. Just going to go turn those back off again. Uh, everything renders a lot quicker when you don't have those on but the end results you really do need them. Okay so I'm going to clone the door again and I'm going to call it right wall and this wall is a little bit higher, it's uh, 1500 high and we're going to move it across, it'd be, uh, yeah that looks about right, they connect right on it. Um, now because I cloned the door and I moved the door back, I don't want that to be back so I'm going to make it nice and flush with the door, but I'm also going to add one space. So you can see there's a, a tiny little gap between that one and that one. And the reason is because when I render it there's this tiny little line and it just defines 
where the wall meets the frame. Uh, there's another way of doing that too. You can pull the frame out one meter uh, in this calculation, and uh, you'll see the difference there too. This way, I like it because it's uh, I can actually see the line, and it's really defined. Okay, so uh, we're going to go back into front view and click on wall. So front view, this one, and you can see that it's gone below the door. So we need to bring that up. So um, I think it's around about uh, 300 from what, yep, that's right, 300 up. So now we've got our door, our wall, and uh, we're going to clone the wall and we're going to say left wall. Okay, and we're going to put a minus in front of the 426 and that automatically throws it to the other side with that one meter gap in between. So I'll just render that off. Okay, so we've got it two walls, frame and a door. Now we need to fill in that top little gap there and we're going to use the wall again. So we're just going to slide that across into the center and this is where it, you can do the maths if you want. Uh, I like doing this by hand. I have no idea why, I just feel like a bit more creative. So there we go. And you can two, I believe it is. Okay, so there we have it. Um, the center bit. Now, if I turn those global illumination on and render that again, just moving that light source back and up. Okay, so you can see from that picture alone that it really gets a nice image of what that door looks like. Okay, so from here we're going to add some colors. Our first color is the door, and we're going to take specular off. So go to color, and I've got the actual color numbers here. It is uh, uh, 328768. Whoops, 328768. So it's like a dark green color which is really quite nice. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to create another color which is basically just a duplication of that. So we're going to call that door and this is going to be called frames. So frames and this color is 154, 202, 185. Okay, so we're just going to drag that onto the color around the frame and then we're going to clone that color again and we're going to call it walls. And this color is 196, 224, 2, 224 and the blue is 214. Two, so it's like even a, a lighter color. So let's render that off. Okay, so it definitely uh, stands out now. You can see the door, the frame, and the walls around it. So we're going to make a plane, and we're going to drop that half the distance of the actual height of the door. So it was around about 450, and it would be minus in this case. So here we have the floor and I've got the floor texture here and the floor is 63, 79, 74. So it's like a really dark uh, green which comes off the door. We want a reflection of 10% and Blurriness I'm not going to touch for the time being, but it looks good around about 15%. Obviously, it takes a lot longer to to render when you do that. And leave specular on. So we're just going to drag that over to there. And I'm going to render that in this view. Okay. So now we've got uh, the wall, the door, and the frames. Now one more thing that I want to do, and that is normally when you're walking through a corridor or something like that, there's a little black 
strip along the bottom. So I'm just going to throw that in really quickly right now. And I'm just going to move these uh, two walls up 30. Um, and then I'm then going to grab one of the walls and I'm going to call it bottom uh, left. And I'm only going to make it 30 high. And it's going to come back down to zero. And I'm just going to drag it down manually on this particular one. So drag it down to there, 426, so minus 4, oops, 435, that's right. And uh, it sits perfectly in there, so we don't want it to sit perfectly, we want it to come back to where, just before the door. So about there, about 20, I'd say. Yeah, it could be right on the door. All right, and we want to give that another color. So the color is dark gray. Oh, and you can probably even make it black. And then we just drag that on there and remove that other one. And then we just clone it. And we're going to call this right. And then we just we, we remove the minus from that side and it will automatically copy it across. So I'll render that off now. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and uh, rate and subscribe. Thanks very much.